Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Honda Pilot EXL, as well as take a look at the other Honda Pilot configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of things I like about the Honda Pilot. Even among its all-star midsize SUV rivals, the Pilot got high marks for its spacious interior, powerful and efficient V6 engine, and clever storage solutions. My only significant gripes concern the unrefined nature of the gear shifts coming from the available 9-speed transmission and the unintuitive touchscreen infotainment system. Well now, I don't even have those to complain about. For 2019, Honda has returned the 9-speed, eliminating much of the low-speed stutters and jerkiness that it used to exhibit. It's still not as smooth as the 6-speed transmission found on the less expensive trim levels, but it's considerably better than last year. The infotainment system's user interface has also been updated. It's more intuitive to use this year and has a physical volume knob that replaces the previous touch-sensitive volume slider. Rounding out the 2019 Honda Pilot's changes are new tech features, added standard safety features, and styling enhancements. The eight-passenger 2019 Honda Pilot is a mid-size SUV that is offered in five primary trim levels, LX, EX, EXL, Touring, and Elite. All models are powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine that's good for 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed automatic transmission is standard for most trims, while a nine-speed transmission comes with the Touring and Elite models. Front-wheel drive is standard, and all-wheel drive is available for all models, including the standard on Elite. Standard features for the LX include 18-inch alloy wheels, automatic LED headlights, active noise cancellation, air conditioning, 60-40 split folding third row seats, a multi-angle rear view camera, a 5-inch touchscreen and 7-speaker audio system with USB auxiliary inputs. Standard advanced safety features include adaptive cruise control, frontal collision warning with automatic braking, road departure mitigation, lane keep and assist, and automatic high beam assist. The EX adds LED fog lights, heated mirrors, remote ignition, keyless entry, a terrain management system, tri-zone automatic climate control, heated front seats, a power adjustable driver's seat, one-touch slide and fold second row seats, an 8-inch touchscreen, Honda Link and cabin control, smartphone integration, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, satellite radio, and a blind spot monitor with rear cross-traffic alert. Stepping up to the EXL trim, which we're going to build in price today, gets you a sunroof, a power lift gate, a universal garage door opener, rear seat window sunshades, auto dimming rear view mirror, a leather wrap steering wheel, leather upholstery, driver seat memory functions, a power adjustable front passenger seat and second row USB charging ports. There's also an EXL sub trim, right, that adds a navigation system and a rear entertainment system with a 10.2 inch screen with HDMI input, Blu-ray player, and streaming apps. You also gain a 110 volt power outlet and intercom system through the rear headrest or headsets. The touring trim gets all of the above mentioned things I talked about, plus 20 inch wheels, roof rails, front and rear parking sensors, hands-free operation for the lift gate, heated rear seats, a Wi-Fi hotspot, a 10-speaker premium audio system, and multi-zone audio. Heated second row captain's chairs are available, reducing seating capacity to seven. So if you get the uh, heated second row captain's chairs, you now have a seven-seater and not an eight-seater. Finally, the Elite trim comes standard with the captain's chairs as well as automatic wipers, power folding mirrors, a panoramic sunroof, a heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, and a wireless charging pad. Now here's the deal. I like the EXL because it gets you into the leather seats. And it's still under $40,000. The Touring is a nice vehicle, but now you're up over $40,000. And if you want to keep your thing under $40,000, under $40, I think the EXL is probably, for me, I think it's the best money. That said, with more standard features than before, the EX is the definite value play. You get a lot of, that's, that's when this one right here where my cursor is, 
You get a lot of useful features, including keyless access and ignition, heated front seats, one-touch slide and fold second row seats, and pretty much the same infotainment system and safety features that all the more expensive trims have. It doesn't have a power lift gate, however. For that, you'll need to upgrade to, to at least the EXL, which is what I was talking about. And then that gives you the better navigation. It gives you the second row sunshades. Now you got the leather. So you see where I'm going. It's, a, it's, a, it's about a $3,000 and change jump but they give you a lot more for your money. All right, so we've gone over this whole intro. What I want to do now is I want to check out the rest. I want to look at the gallery. I want to check out the colors, and I want to see the features for this 2019 Honda Pilot before we do our what? Before we do our build and price of our EXL trim. All right, so let's get going. Let's check out this photo gallery. I, I obviously skipped over a photo. Let's go back. I skipped over. Oh, it's, a, it's a movie. That's why. I skipped over one. We can see that below each photo, they kind of give us a little snippet of information. This one says the aerodynamic lines of the pilot's upgraded exterior are highlighted by low beam LED headlights and chrome detailing. Now, they're not get, telling us a whole bunch. So that said, I'm not going to necessarily read every one of these slides. And so that way, if, if there's a slide that you want to take a, that you want to read, just simply pause the video. That'll make me wait for you. So I'll wait and then we'll move forward together. So. What I really want to do is I just want to like take a look at everything and kind of look. I guess we do sort of kind of need to look at this stuff. This says the modern pilot is equipped with available cabin control, a smartphone app that gives rear seat passengers the freedom to control audio and climate features. The thing is that when we go learn the features, they're going to go over this information anyway. So it's going to kind of sound redundant if we go reading it right now. Here's an aggressive front fascia. I don't know how aggressive that is. Looks like they're showing the... Uh, available wireless phone charger and they say it's standard for the elite they tell you they give you little snippets of information look at the push button transmission actually I just noticed that you got a push button transmission you can throw all your gear back there up to 109 cubic feet of cargo volume is available right the pilot features advanced controls ergonomically designed you got your digital speedometer which I love Here's your advanced rear entertainment system that's standard on the EXL. It's standard on the EXL with the Navi, uh, with the, I guess if you get a certain package or something, we'll see. If we can, I'm getting the EXL, and if I can, if we can put the rear seat package on, it's not a ton of money, we're going to do it. I think it just makes sense. There's another movie we'll skip over. Here's the Elite that comes with the captain's chairs that turns it from an eight-seater to a seven-seater. Here's that Honda Pilot 3.5 liter, 280 horsepower V6 engine. Another movie. Uh, I don't know if the pilot has striking looks. I mean, they're like striking looks. I don't know about all that, but it's not. It's 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 attractive enough for what it is. Let's put it that way. Um, let's see. The pilot can seat up to eight and still have room for eighty-two quart cooler if you just have one of those laying around. Uh, there's an available power tailgate, as we know. All right, we'll skip over that. Look at that rear seat uh, climate control here. The pilot features up to four USB ports, two auxiliary jacks for headphones, and up to three 12-volt outlets and a 115-volt outlet and an HDMI uh, port for gaming. They got you covered back there. Here's a push-button start. There's that uh, shift-by-wire technology push-button uh, transmission. Here they're showing Apple CarPlay. That's pretty nice. The resolution is what I mean. Uh, this one is... Uh, Leather trimmed interior they're showing with the third row with the captain's chair option. Here they're talking about their Honda Sensing Advanced Rear Entertainment System and an available advanced uh, rear entertainment system and available as wireless phone charger they're showing down there. And we're going to learn all about this stuff when we get through the features. Uh, steering wheel mounted. There's a multifunction steering wheel with all your audio controls and all that stuff on there. Look, you got side window shades. That's standard on the EXL, which we're building. See, I was smart. I got the good one. Got the good one. A sleek and ergonomic cabin. Yep. I mean, if you got to go, if you got to go SUV-ish type of thing, it looks more minivan to me, but the available hands-free power access, showing how this guy's using that. Him and his kid are out. They're at the surf. Uh, redesign. They're showing the LED taillights. And we saw that picture from before. And just showing, they're talking about its versatility. And what is this? They're showing uh, where there are bright headlights behind you, available automatic dimming side mirrors have you covered. Now, that's cool. I like that a lot, too. All right. We saw the pictures. Let's move on. Let's look at colors for the 2019 exterior colors. Excuse me for the 2019 Honda Pilot. All right. Uh, this one's called. Let's get a better shot. Can we get a better picture? Uh, 
I guess that's that. All right, so Steel Sapphire Metallic is this exterior color. This exterior color is called Obsidian Blue Pearl. And see down here, they tell you what colors the vehicles are, what it's available on, what trims it's available on. So it's not always, each color is not available for each model. Here's Obsidian Blue Pearl. Here's that Black Forest Pearl, green. Uh, crystal Black Pearl. Modern Steel Metallic. Lunar Silver Metallic. White Diamond Pearl. And a deep scarlet pearl. I'm going to say that I, you know none of these colors really jump out at me. So I don't know what colors we're going to pick when we get around to it. All right, let's learn a little bit about the exterior. Right? There's a commanding exterior. The exterior design of the pilot is both rugged and refined. and shows off how they're redefining the modern family SUV. Eye-catching grill. Designed with a bold front grill, the pilot features an aggressive chrome layout that integrates beautifully with the available LED headlights with auto on off. Right, that's available on the Touring and Elite models only, so I guess we don't even need to worry about it. Modern style. It says smooth lines and an aerodynamic body complement our Earth Dreams engine and lighter chassis, making for, fuel, making for a fuel-efficient pilot. Oh, yeah, they're talking about the 20-inch wheels, bright 20-inch alloy wheels with a machine finish face. We'll have onlookers stopping in their track. I don't know about all that now. Here they're talking about those rear LED lights again. We've already talked about that. And then what's this? The Now they're still talking about the LED uh, tail lights and the standard third row seating. So, yeah, I mean, how much is there to talk about about the exterior? Our real thing is finding about those interior features, you know, the, the tech and the safety and the infotainment. That's what, that's what we're really talking about. So we'll, we're getting to that. Before we get to that, there's this little spot still on the exterior thing. They're talking about Honda Genuine Accessories. And look how this uh, Honda Pilot is kitted out. It looks pretty fun, doesn't it? Looks pretty fun. Here's a die cast running boards. Here is an eight piece sticker package. This sticker package adds a sporty dynamic look to your pilot with graphics for the hood, sides, and wheels. There's a black grill. There's a low profile roof rails. There's chrome lower door trim. And yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, move on to the interior. We did all that exterior stuff. Let's move on to the interior. They've got some slides for us to look at. What are they talking about? Elevated connectivity. Advanced capabilities are everywhere you look, including an available 8-inch display audio touchscreen with Apple CarPlay integration and Android Auto integration. Here's those second-row captain seats they were talking about. you got the one-touch second-row seats. Get easy access to the third row with the push of a button on the available one-touch second-row seats. Standard on the EXL. Nice. Standard on the model we're going to be building in pricing today. Leather trimmed interior, also standard on the EXL. Nice move on by me. There's the one touch power moonroof. I don't know if that's standard on the EXL. And in the big picture, uh, I'm not really that concerned about it. Uh, if we don't have a moonroof, I'll probably option it just because it's nice to have some light in the cabin, actually. Okay, versatile seating configurations. Look, can we do something with this? Ah, we can. Okay, so it's showing the versatility of everything. Got it? Got it. Okay. Okay, so we kind of went through that module. There's a cabin module. Now we're on this comfort module. Then there's cargo and accessories. So over here on the comfort module, kind of looks like we're looking at the same thing. And, and I guess we are. Now they're just telling us that there's multiple seat configurations, which they told us that on the pilot uh, over here under the cabin heading. So it almost doesn't make sense, but whatever. Hands-free access to the power tailgate. We know that. That's an optional feature, right? It's not standard. It's a, anytime you see that word available, that means that it's an option. All right, enhanced climate control. Keeping all your passengers comfortable is no problem with the available, independently adjustable tri-zone automatic climate control. However, it is standard on our EXL. It's standard on the EXL. Heated and ventilated seats. That's really just experience a new level of comfort with the available heated and ventilated seats. If that's even an option that we can get, I can tell you right now that I'm probably not going to be worried about that. I'm not too worried about stuff like that. Then there's an advanced navigation system. The available Honda satellite-linked navigation system features 3D renderings of terrain, buildings, and road signs, as well as lane guidance. That's nice. Okay, moving on to cargo, right? We went through comfort now. We're on the cargo. So there's plenty of cargo space. 109 cubic feet. We already kind of knew that from one of the gallery slides. 60-40 uh, split second row and third row seats are folded down. Right, and that's when you get 109, 109 cubic feet of space. What do we got next? 
loading your way. Folding seats create multiple cargo configurations. Yeah, we got that. It's just showing the utility of how all this works. The different things that you can get and fit in this 2019 Honda Pilot. Pretty cool. And here they're showing the accessories again. And there's a, what? The door sill? I don't think we saw that one. Oh, no. These are different accessories they're showing for the interior anyway. You've got these all-season floor mats. You've got uh, third row seat covers. You've got the folding cargo tray. You've got a cargo bin divider. And then you have these second row seat back protectors so this back of the seats don't get jacked up with people's feet and whatnot. Okay, so we went through, if we look up here, we can see we went through the gallery, went through the colors, went through the exterior. We went through the interior. Now we're on to the features. So I figure we're going to look at the features. We'll check out the Honda Sensing. We already kind of we already went through the trim and specs. All that stuff I was talking about where I went through all the different uh, configurations, we already went through the trim and specs. Uh, there might be a few other spec specs I might want to look at, like hard specs, like dimensions and CD compatibility and all that kind of stuff. But for all intents and purposes, we've gone through that. So let's take a look at these features, technology, connectivity, and driver assurance. Let's see. Be heard with cabin talk. Pilot makes communication communicating with rear seat passengers easy using the available cabin talk in-car PA system that's available on the EXL with a certain package anyway. Then we have what? The wireless phone charger, which we know about. Has a free charging zone that's easy to access. What did it say it was standard on? Oh, it's standard on the Elite, the top model. Then there's the advanced navigation system. It's standard on the EXL, right? We already know that. That's kind of redundant. We went through that. Now, the Honda Link, available Honda Link subscription services, offers access to fuel, range status, and allows you to lock or unlock your doors all from your smartphone. Every every manufacturer has some kind of app like this that will lock, unlock your phone, and da-da-da-da-da, and they do them to varying degrees. Honda only just barely mentions it, so you know it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal to them. That said, it is standard on our EXL trim, and so that's important. We, we do get that with our model. Let's talk connectivity now. Co-pilot with cabin control. Passengers can change music, adjust the climate, and more using the cabin control app on their... Wow, you got to have an app? You have to have an app? You're in the car. Why do you need an app? All right, anyway, connect with mobile hotspot uh, capability. Enjoy available wireless streaming capabilities, including audio and entertainment system updates by turning your pilot into a mobile hotspot with a data plan from AT&T. Or, alternatively, you can just turn on the hotspot on your phone. My phone has a hotspot. I'm already paying for it. So we could just do that instead, right? This is kind of redundant information. The Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto. The reason why I'm kind of brushing through those real fast is because maybe you don't know or maybe you do know is that it doesn't matter if it's a Honda, a Mercedes, a Bentley, a Jaguar, a Ferrari. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, these systems, where Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, they're proprietary systems. Apple controls how it looks on these cars. Android Auto controls what it looks like on these cars. So it doesn't matter what car you look at. The Apple CarPlay is going to look basically the same. The Android Auto is going to basically look the same because they control their systems. And so that's why I just kind of brushed over that. So, you know. And then lastly, they're talking about that rear seat entertainment. And like I said, if we can't option it and it's not all the money in the world, then we'll go ahead and load out our EXL with the uh, rear seat entertainment package, possibly. All right, let's move on to driver assurance. It says prepare for all, well, all weather, an available intelligent traction management system that other people call all-wheel drive, right? And it gives you what? You've got some modes, normal, snow, mud, sna uh, sand. I like that. One of my favorite features, cross-traffic monitor. With sensors in the rear bumper to alert you when vehicles are detected, you'll have extra help when deciding if it's safe to back up. Then you've got the blind spot information system. On EX and above trims, use, uh, trims uses sensors in the rear bumper to alert you when approaching vehicles are detected in your adjacent lane. Right? Gotcha. Then there is what? The multi-angle rear view camera. And then there's the ACE body structure, the advanced capability, uh, compatibility engineering. Uh, body structure is a Honda exclusive body design that enhances occupant protection and frontal crash compatibil or compatibility in frontal collisions. All right, we went through the features. Let's let's find out about this Honda Sensing. Okay, Honda Sensing is a suite of safety and driver assistance technologies designed to help by alerting you to things you might miss while driving, including collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system adaptive cruise control, and lane keep and assist system, right? We can see up here, there's tiers. One, two, 
three, four. I bet you were about to learn about those. So let's learn about them. It says the collision mitigation braking system can help bring your pilot to a stop when the system determines that a frontal collision is unavoidable. The road departure mitigation system, meanwhile, can determine if you cross over detected lanes without signaling. It can and can provide steering assistance, so it's an active system, to help you return to your lane and provide braking to help keep you from leaving the roadway entirely. Then there's adaptive cruise control, which helps you maintain a set following interval behind detected vehicles for highway driving. There's the lane keep assist system. With your hands on the steering wheel, lane keep assist system subtly adjusts steering to help keep the pilot centered in the detected lane. All right, so we went through all the Honda sensing stuff. Okay, well, I didn't see, easily anyway, I didn't see where they had, um, the, oops, I did not want to do it. I didn't see where they had the specs for uh, where we can look up the specs like, you know, what the CD, like the, you know, headroom is and stuff like that. We won't worry about that right now. All right, so here we are. We got our 2019 Pilot EXL. So far, it's a two-wheel drive. We've got the six-speed transmission, not that nine-speed. In all honesty, I'd rather have the six-speed. I'd rather have the six-speed. But what I do want is I do want the all-wheel drive. That's what, what was that, a $1,900 option? That's a $1,900 upgrade. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. So we've got the all-wheel drive six-speed. Got it. Now we're sitting at 39660 I don't usually look at the price, but I just want to let you know where it is so you can see. Follow along with me. So we've got our powertrain selected. All right. We can close the powertrain. Now, exterior color, like I said, I wasn't crazy about any of these exterior colors, to be honest with you. Um, so just for giggles, let's do Black Forest. Let's just do ours in Black Forest, just for giggles. All right. We're going to do black forest for our exterior color. We can close up exterior color. Interior color looks like you only get beige leather. Now, what happens if I don't really want beige leather? Now, what if I wanted, what if I wanted, say, what if I say I wanted, like, crystal black exterior? Then what uh, interior color do I get? All right, there we go. You see, your colors make a difference. That's why he did that. I don't want tan leather. Or whatever that was. I want black leather. So give me the... I'm going to take a black 2019 Honda Pilot EXL all-wheel drive with the six-speed automatic transmission with black leather. All right? Give me the black leather. Uh, what do we want for premium features? Now, do we want that advanced Navi and, and, and Res? What does that mean? Enjoy the convenience of navigation and the fun of an entertainment system with this convenient upgrade. The, yeah, we want that. It's 1600 bucks. Yeah, let's add that to our build. I said I'd get it if it wasn't the end of the world, and it's not. So $1,600 there. We got that. So we can close the premium features tab. On to wheels. Oh, they have wheel upgrades, huh? So we've got, uh, let's see what the, I don't want 18-inch wheels. Let's see what this 20-inch wheel looks like here. Oh, they're just going to show it on the car? No, they weren't going to show it on the car. So this is the chrome look. These are super blingy. These are $2,800. All right, now let's go look at that other 20-inch wheel. Okay, this other wheel package is an all-black wheel. Now, we have an all-black Honda Pilot with black leather interior, right? Our 2019 Honda Pilot's all-black. So let's go ahead and make it all blacked out. We're going to go ahead and select this 20-inch wheel. Now, we got that. Now, the funny thing is I said I want to keep – I didn't say I want to keep it under 40000 I just mentioned that the Pilot EXL was under 40000 but here we are at 45000 Maybe you can't get in a good SUV these days for super cheap. Well, I guess you can. You can. All right, let's look at exterior accessories. Am I interested in any of this stuff? Um, body side molding, lower door trim. No, I'm not interested in any of that. How about the interior accessories? Probably. Probably. I want the all-season floor mats. I want that cargo cover. Did you see that? Let me show you the cargo cover. I don't know how good your eyesight was, so that's why I want to show you a bigger photo. Some some manufacturers call this a tonneau cover, too. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's, it has different names. We're getting this one. Okay, what else? I don't think there's anything else in there that we want. Nope, there isn't. All right, so electronic accessories. I don't think there's anything we want in there. Backup sensors. We don't have that? Well, let's get the backup sensors if we don't have that. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so... We're sitting at 45,005, basically, and let's go to the build summary. Okay, so here we are. We started life with this vehicle at what? What was the price of this? 37,000 and change? Yeah, well, all-wheel drive, it was, you know, 38,000. The base price was 38,000. We added $1,900 for the all-wheel drive. The paint and all that was no option, uh, and then we added that advanced nav system and all that. 
We got a pretty nice uh, Honda Pilot. It's forty-five thousand and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up now. Normally, normally I save the build summary, but I can't really save the build summary. They're, the manufacturers are kind of changing how they do that. So what I can do, or what I did do, was I downloaded the brochure, the full brochure on the 2019 Honda Pilot EX. So if you're interested in this car, I'm gonna I go ahead and put that build. I'm gonna put the link to that. Um, brochure right in the description below you don't have to go over here to the website you can go right to the description and download this brochure let me show you they got these brochures i'm going to download this full line brochure right here um so that way you can check it out um maybe not the full line brochure how about the eh, actually you know what i'm not going to download any of them because i don't think it's really that relevant so i'm not going to download any of those i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up you can see what it is uh, and if you made it to the end, well, you know what? You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, and I'm going to do more videos. I'm going to do a lot more. So please like, share, and subscribe. If you made it to the end, I really, really appreciate you watching. It really means a lot to me. So thank you very much. And for me, it happens to be a Friday, so I'm going to say have a nice weekend.